Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. At least three persons have been killed as a series of shootings on Job Lane, Cumberland Road and William and French Streets sent shoppers scurrying in Spanish Town St. Catherine on Tuesday afternoon. The police say the attacks are linked to an internal feud in the One Order gang based in the parish. And Damien Elliston, one of the defendants in the Klansman Wan Don gang trial, who was freed last month, is back in police custody. Mr. Elliston was arrested in Spanish Town today in connection with the murder of alleged gang member Paul White, who was killed on Saturday. Meanwhile, a 26-year-old Jamaica Defense Force soldier, Kemar Dennis, was shot dead around 3 o'clock Tuesday morning at his home in the community of Zambia in Central Village St. Catherine. And hours later, two men were shot and killed by unknown assailants along a dirt road of Old Harbor Road, also in St. Catherine. Law enforcement authorities have apprehended two men they believe are part of a syndicate that stole close to $50 million from a financial institution through a sophisticated cybercrime scheme. In sports, legendary coach Glenn Mills says there were no plans for sprinter Oblique Seville to compete in the Diamond League events amid questions about the athlete's absence from the circuit. Those questions grew after Mr. Seville ran a personal best 9.86 seconds over the 100 meters in May, a time that makes him the second fastest male in the world so far this year. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $153.50, the British pound sterling for $183.95, and the Canadian dollar for $119.05. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and thunderstorms across most parishes. And that's it for the Glena Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.